Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and follow us now on Rumble. Today we're going to talk about the recent controversy surrounding transgender athletes in sports. Avi Silverberg, a male powerlifting coach from Canada, broke the women's bench press record after claiming he identifies as a female. This event has sparked outrage in the sporting community, and for good reason. The previous record holder in the 84 plus kilogram category was Anandres, a transgender athlete who identifies as female. However, her victory has now been overshadowed by a male athlete who identifies as female, Silverberg's bench press of 167. 5 kilograms, or 369 pounds, was a shocking result. But what's even more concerning is that it was allowed under the Canadian Centre for Ethics in Sports and the Canadian Powerlifting Union's Trans Inclusion Policy. This policy allows any athlete to compete in any gendered category based on self-identification alone. Andres, who witnessed Silverberg's victory, was mocked by him for holding the previous record. Before the competition, Andres posted a video questioning why the record for women's bench press was so bad. But the truth is, female athletes are at a disadvantage when competing against biological males. Sorry to interrupt, this will only take few seconds, dear fellow conservatives. I am writing to you today with a heavy heart, as once again we find ourselves silenced by YouTube. It seems that our voices are not welcome on this platform while Democrats and left-leaning media are free to voice their criticisms without fear of reprisal. As you may know, our reporting focuses on free speech, and this has made us a target for those who wish to silence us. YouTube has deliberately removed our ability to earn revenue from our content, by restricting our account from showing ads and removing our revenue that helps our fellow writers and video editors pay, but we will not be silenced. We are dedicated to providing you with the news and opinions that mainstream media is trying to downplay. We will be relaunching our website, theamericanrepublic.com, in a few days to give you unlimited access to articles that you won't find anywhere else, but we need your help. We rely on your support to keep our website running and to pay our team of writers and editors. Any amount of donation, no matter how small, will be greatly appreciated, please check our YouTube description and click on the donate button to make your contribution. Every donation counts and will help us to continue working and fighting for free speech, thank you for your support. And let us now continue with the story, Riley Gaines, a champion female swimmer and spokeswoman for the Independent Women's Forum, spoke out against Andres on Twitter, saying, maybe it's because you have 20 times more testosterone than them. Gaines has been a vocal critic of well-known transgender swimmer Leah Thomas, whose participation in women's competitions has also caused controversy. This controversy reached a fever pitch in 2022 when Leah Thomas, a transgender athlete, began smashing records while swimming in women's competitions. It's time to recognize that biological differences matter in sports and that allowing transgender athletes to compete against biological females is not fair. The National Collegiate Athletic Association has hired a new president, former Massachusetts Republican Governor Charlie Baker. In part to address controversies that have engulfed multiple sports and threatened congressional oversight, it's time to take a stand for fairness and equality in sports. That's it for today's episode of The American Republic. Don't forget to like and follow for more news updates.